This is Chris. Five years ago, he decided to leave his stable job at a call center. He was a skilled training manager, but he wanted something different. Chris started a couple of businesses, and he would spend his mornings checking on his shops. But after a couple of hours, he had all the time to do whatever he wanted. I've watched all the shows. Netflix, Amazon Prime, Disney Plus. You name it, I've probably watched it. This might sound like the perfect setup for most people, but not for Chris. He didn't want to spend his days watching TV. He wanted to continue what he was passionate about, helping teams grow. And aside from that, Chris would spend most of his nights awake. Not because he chose to, but because he was so used to living his life at night. One day, his friend told him about freelancing. A way for him to make use of his skills, as well as his penchant for being up until the early morning. It seemed like the perfect opportunity, but Chris was unsure about taking on foreign clients. There were just a lot of uncertainties. What if something goes wrong? Who do I run to? How do I get paid? And at the same time, the whole world stopped. COVID hit the Philippines hard. Millions of Filipinos were unemployed, and Chris's businesses weren't doing so well. My condo tenants couldn't pay anymore. They basically just left their things in the unit. They ran away and ghosted me. Chris realized that things weren't going back to normal anytime soon. So he decided to dive into the world of freelancing. At first, he was happy that his talents were being put to good use, but then, the work started to feel monotonous. I was doing the same thing over and over again, so I decided to shift. Thankfully, Chris found an ad for Coconut VA, and the words venture analyst caught his eye. So he applied, he got accepted, and then Coconut VA connected him to a client that finally gave Chris what he was looking for. The work was different every day. Boring is the last word I'd use to describe it. But as his vision for the future was starting to clear up, he noticed that his actual vision was getting blurrier and blurrier. His eyesight was rapidly degrading. It was like the world was full of fog. It wouldn't go away no matter how much I rub my eyes. Chris felt like his condition had nothing to do with his ability to do his job. So he continued to work without telling anyone about his condition. I had to zoom into documents 400 times. I could only fit about five words. Eventually, things got so bad that it was nearly impossible to work. He finally opened up as he was filing for leave to undergo surgery. But Coconut VA had his back. The company's health plan covered the cost of his surgery. Eric told me that if things go bad, he would hire a virtual assistant for me. Imagine that. A virtual assistant for a virtual assistant. But the operation was a success. And after two years of being legally blind, Chris could finally see normally. The fog was gone. I'm happy to be part of Coconut VA. I feel like my skills are being put to good use. And they have my back, no matter what happens. My name is Chris, a venture analyst, a Filipino virtual assistant, and a Coconut VA.